Oh, wait. Not right here. They'll bring it right in front of the net, trying to get it out. And they do. Neutral zone. Shamrocks have it. Shamrocks trying to deke around. Poke checked away by the Comets. Tussling for the puck. Comets come up with it. Taken away by the Shamrocks. Shot on net just wide. They have it loose in the slot. Right out in front. And that just doesn't go. We'll try to clear it. Held in. And backhanded out the rest of the way. By the Shamrocks. Or excuse me, the Comets. That will be icing, I believe. So, if you're just joining us, welcome to the tonight's rendition of BMHL. Tonight we see the St. Crank Comets going against the Shamrocks. And ref getting ready to drop the puck. Zero zero is your score so far. No shots on goal just yet. He finally drops the puck after the icing call. We'll try to play it. Scrambling out in front. They have it in the slot. Trying to clear are the Comets. Finally get it. We'll try to lead it up ice. Taken away by the Shamrocks. Shamrocks winning on that scores. That was just a shocker on net for the goalie. And I think that just blew by him because he didn't expect it. one nothing early for the Shams. So, Gaidas Mario is your referee. Getting ready for the draw here. one nothing early for the Shamrocks. Shamrocks so far this season have been getting it done as they're 3-3, three and three, 500. Comets to hold it into the Shamrock zone. Clearing it out, back into the zone. Trying to whip it on net. He'll walk it around. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. That won't be cleared. Comets still with it. Comets. Right behind the net. They'll try to find someone out in front. They have the slot open, but just couldn't get it past the goalie. Left circle. Trying to get it on net. And a good save by the goaltender. Rebound right out in front. And he will cover it. So far this season for the Shamrocks, you have uh, Kian Kian, who has 9 goals, 1 assist for 10 points. Team's leading point getter, followed by Wario's Vug, who has 8 goals and 1 assist for 9 points. The rest of the team has either 1 point or no points. Shamrocks trying to get the puck. Counting Comets hounding him. Comets trying to get it on net. He shoots it just wide. So the New Brinton Comets, you have a similar stat for the uh, Rotuck, who is leading the point, the le or, excuse me, leading the club in points with ten points. He has nine goals, one assist. And the next person below that is Mom, not going to say that, uh, with three goals, no assist, and three points. So, with the Comets, you have a record of 2-6, and six, so not looking too hot this season. Shamrocks playing with it in the zone for the Comets. Trying to wing it on to the slot. He has it. A good shot, but poked away. Held in by the Shamrocks, dumping into the corner. Shamrocks 
trying to get it out in front. Poke checked away. Again, a good heavy check by the Shamrocks, or four check rather. Couldn't really find a goal there, but they'll look to clear it back up. Shamrocks. Getting ready for the attack back the other way. They'll dump it in. So the two and six Comets looking for their third win this season after this game, but trail early, one nothing. Trying to avoid going two and seven. Shamrocks go all the way up ice for it. No icing. Goaltender saves that. He's going wide anyway. I don't think he needed to exert himself for that. We'll try to backhand. Poke checked away. Good defense so far by the by the Comets. Not really good offense as they don't really have any offensive drive to show for it. Shamrocks playing it into the corner. Comets take it away. Shamrock still with it. He'll wing it on net, just wide of the net. He'll play it in the corner. Trying to sidestep the defender. He gets poke check. Fighting for the possession here. Comets will get it. Trying to clear it. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. In the corner. We'll try to clear it up. Backhand try for the Comets doesn't go as they'll keep it in. Shamrock's with it. Left circle. He'll dump it in behind the cage. Shamrock's with it. Right circle now. He'll try to backhand it. Poke checked away. Again poked. Nothing doing. Comets trying to clear. They do but not so far as to get it into the Shamrock zone as the Shamrocks dump it back into the Comet zone. Appears It appears that one person's uh, AFK, so they're basically on a penalty kill right now. And a shot just goes off. A body trying to clear the Comet. Kept in. Shamrock shot. Good save. We'll go into the corner. Shamrock still with it. Kept into the zone. He'll try to wing it on net. Kept into the slot. He has it. Trying to go for a shot taken away by the Comets. Comets clear it finally all the way down ice. And it looks like this will be an icing. So, so far this season for both teams, one going 500, the other one significantly under 500. And looking at the full full schedule for the uh, Comets, going past the last two games, they lost they lost a close one against the Miami Tropics, six to five. And right after that, they lost a hefty six nothing against the Gummy Express. So far this season, it's been it's been one goal games all throughout this season. The only one is at six nothing, and the second loss was four to one. So it's not that they've been terrible; it's just they've been within a goal, just couldn't really find it. And that's very frustrating as a as a team. Just speaking from experience, one goal games are not one that you really want to lose. I'd rather get blown out than have a one goal deficit. As the Comets bring it back. Poke checked by the Shams. Comets. They have it in the neutral zone. Try and dump it into the to the Shamrock zone. Can't really find it. As the Comets get it stripped. They'll regain possession in their own zone. Being forced back by the Shamrocks. Excellent pressure here. So far by the Dublin Shamrocks. I find it cool as a 
have half Irishmen that someone would find the time to name their team the Dublin Shamrocks. Hockey is really uh, making an improvement in their audience numbers as it's beginning. It's gaining more traction. It's becoming more popular worldwide, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was uh, a team in Ireland that was dubbed. <laughs> actually dubbed the Shamrocks. I don't know if that's an actual team that they named it after. I actually do have a Team Ireland jersey hanging in my closet. So that's pretty cool that someone would actually think of naming their team the Shamrocks as a shot just goes wide of the net. Flutterer. They'll try to clear it. Does the Shamrocks. Comets pressuring. They'll get the puck back. Comet's still with it. Shamrock's trying to poke. Shamrock's gaining position for a little bit, but nothing doing as you try to wrap around. Good save by the goaltender. And they'll clear it out the rest of the way. Held in. No. Taken out. And a good shot one, uh, was a winger on net, but that didn't really go. Comets bring it into the Shamrock zone. CNCN tells the person offsides and they'll... The ref will concur. Dublin trying to get it. Comets still with it. In the Dublin zone. They'll bring it back, and that is heaved all the way across the ice, and it will be a shot right on net, and that will be saved. Dublin's still with it. Dublin really putting on the pressure here on the Comets. I, I've seen the last the last uh, shift for the Comets was the first real offensive drive that I've seen this game with them, and where are you? At the end of the first period. So at the end of the first period, shots on goal are four to three in favor of the Comets. Scores one nothing, but don't let the shots on goal deceive you. That period was solely dominated by the Shamrocks. They had really good shots, they had really good outlooks, and they also had really good uh uh drives there for the offense. Right now, you're talking about a, well, the bench for the Shamrocks is a lot more full than the Comets. Normally, in hockey, you would have a very good, a very good, uh, a very big advantage for the uh, higher bench, obviously. So, brings me to a story with the USC Trojans. Now, the Trojans had a shortened bench against... Or actually, no, they didn't have a shortened bench. They had a, a favorable shortened bench against the... Uh, I believe it was the UCLA Bruins, where the Bruins had maybe one guy on the bench and the rest were on the ice. So you had a 6 on, I think, 12 or 20 on the other side. So... In a real hockey game, the shortened bench would obviously wear a factor for the shortened team. Whereas in BMHL, it's a lot more even because you don't really have stamina. You don't really get tired. You just see uh, momentum for the skating. So that's something that's really interesting about BMHL is that it doesn't really have the... I, I wouldn't say weakness, but it doesn't really have the f uh, basic fundamentals of hockey. So as we get ready for the second period, first period dominated by the Shamrocks. Comets looking to get back into this game by forcing their way offensively. Ref drops the puck and off we go. Shamrocks losing the draw. Comets with the early possession taken away by the Shamrocks. Coming into the Comets zone. They'll try to get a shot on goal. It's blocked out in front. Shot the rest of the way, but off the body. 
So it goes off the skate of the Shamrock back in the deep end. They'll get it. Shamrock's with it on sides. Trying to dump it the rest of the way of the Shamrocks, but being hounded by the uh, Comets as the Comets bring it back the other way. One on one. Poke checked away. And now here we go with the Shamrocks back the other way. Taken away by the Comets. Comets still with it in the Shamrock zone. Taken away by the Shamrocks. In the neutral zone, they're fighting, trying to get possession of the puck. And that will go out of play. The uh, ref made a slight mistake. That slot shot open, but the Shamrock's just clear. Looks like there's going to be another stoppage of play here. <laughs> uh, I guess the ref is having a little bit of a little bit of trouble here. He claims that he presses the wrong key. <laughs> Again, it kind of happens to the best of us. So we'll play on, I think. Clock's not running, so... Clock's not running, so I don't know if this is live or not. Oh, well, it's running now, so this is a live play as a shot just goes wide of the net. I'll try to clear it, does the Shamrocks. Held in by the Comets, taken away by the Shamrocks swiftly. And they'll backhand it back all, all the way to the Comet side of the eye. And that will be called icing, as it did not even touch the goaltender. Or no, it won't. Yeah, that, that was not icing. Or, or, that was icing, but I don't think the ref caught it. We'll try to bring it back the other way. Dumped all the way back. Played on by the Shamrocks. Comets pressuring, trying to take it away. Back inside, right out in front of the goal. And that is not covered by the goaltender. Comets still have it. Trying to shoot it on net, just goes wide. Shamrocks trying to clear it. Comets wing it wide. Again, the Shamrocks trying to clear it out front. They have it. They'll play it. Shot. Tipped. Right out in front. And that just goes wide of the net. They'll play it. In the corner. Trying to clear it out. Held in by the Shamrocks. And a haymaker shot just goes off the body. He'll still have it in the slot. Right out in front. And that's poke checked away. Shamrock's still with it. Really good stick handling. And his, he gets pummeled there. By the time he still had it, it really was good stick handling there by uh, Sion. So that's it's no wonder why he is a uh, front runner for the team in point getting as Scion's still with it Scion playing an amazing game so far taken away by the Comets they'll try to wing it out in front taken away by the Shams Shamrocks have it taken away by the Comets Comets get it poked away by the Shamrocks Shamrocks in the corner Comets with it At the left circle of the Shamrock zone. 
Shamrock's going, f or excuse me, Comet's going from left to right offensively. As the Comets will clear it back to the left side of the ice. Into the defensive zone as he gets rocked. He'll play it out in front, trying to pass it out to the slot. Shamrocks get it poked away. And a good shot just goes fluttering past as the defenseman blocks it. Another shot just goes wide of the net. That looked dangerous. And another shot, again, barely missing the net. If they can get these on net, these are actually dangerous shots. Shamrocks with it. Poke checked away. Hit on the play. Shamrocks with possession. Trying to get it past the defense. Cleared out by the Comets. Shamrocks dump it into the zone. Deep into the corner. He'll backhand. Right out into the side. Now here we go with the Comets. With a little bit of room. He'll shoot it off the body. And a rebound right out in front. Comets still with it. Being poke checked and heckled by the Shamrock. Shamrocks lose the puck. They'll get it back in the net, in, into the zone, though. As that gets backhanded back, but held in by the Shamrocks barely. Or, excuse me, the Comets. Comets again hold it in. Huge pressure here by the Comets. Trying to get back into this game. Only one nothing. Shamrocks. Trying to get into the zone. They'll backhand it into the corner. Right in back of the net. Trying to gain possession of the puck. Held up. Trying a wraparound, but that's poke checked right away by the Comets defense. Right on the goal line. Trying to put it on net. He'll wire it onto the goal. Goalie's not covering yet, and now he does. So that will be that in terms of that offensive champ. 2.57 left to go here in the second period. Referee handing out a warning to the Comets. And now, Shamrocks and Comets now both have a warning for each of their players. Comets with it. Hold on. I have to be right back. Hold on.
sincere apologies. I was I had a little bit of a scuffle in the booth, as they say. Comet's with it. Trying to poke it out. Trying to clear it out are, are the comets from the corner. Shamrocks. Playing with it. Stake handling through two people. Again, good skill shown here by the Shamrocks. Right out in front. Backhand. Still couldn't do anything. Right out to the side. Again, out in front. Backhand try just goes wide of the net. Missed a body, too. That will be not cleared as the Shamrocks hold it in. Shamrocks still with it. Now barely cleared as they go to the blue line and out. Held in by the Shamrocks getting into the corner. Shamrocks still playing it, and that will be that in terms of the period. 1-0 is still your score. 6-6 six to six. shots on goal tied between the Comets and the Shamrocks. A better second period by the Shamrocks all around. Or, excuse me, the uh, Comets all around. And for the Shamrocks, a little bit of a... A little bit of a scuffle going into the second period as they will want to kind of regenerate the offensive pressure that they've been having so far this game. So, the official getting ready to continue this with the third period ready to get underway. Last minute change ups, lines are out, and we'll be getting ready for third period hockey. As, <laughs> as they're starting to hit the the officials here, and the goal is starting to get into it. <laughs> That's funny. Mario getting ready to drop the puck for the third period. Third period starts right now as the Comets win the draw all the way back, going right in front of their net, almost five-hold his own goaltender. Shamrocks get the touch-up for the icing. Comets win the draw. They haul it into the zone. You want to look at that play that looked off sides to me as I try to backhand it out. Forehand now. Shamrock's trying to get it out. Shot just goes wide of the net. Comet's trying to hold it in. Shamrock's trying to clear it out. Right at the blue line, and it's out. Shamrock's poked checking it ahead. Now he'll get it. On a semi breakaway, right out in front, shot just off the goaltender. Big save by the netminder. Big save in a key moment of the period as the Comets get it back.
and now the Shinnok's playing with it in the corner, taken away by the Comets. Comets will clear it into the neutral zone, where they'll get it, haul it into the Shamrock zone, poke checked away, poke checked right and back. Now the Shamrock's trying to stick handle it through the poke checking, and that will be cleared out of their own volition. Shamrock's with it. Left circle, trying to clear it up. They do, but a little bit too far as they'll go off for a line change. Shamrock's outlet pass right onto the tape. 2 1 1 developing. He'll try to get a backhand right out in front, and that gets poke checked away. Poke checked away from the Shamrock as he has it out in front, trying to get a good shot. Good save off the blocker. Comet's with it. He'll pass it out. Comets still trying to get possession. Shamrock's with it. Poke checked away by the Comets. Comets still trying to play it. They finally have possession. He'll try to he'll try to deep back, but I don't think that was necessary. He could have just hauled it into the zone, but Comets take it away. Into the Shamrock zone. That will be cleared all the way up by the Shamrocks and to the other side of the net. Or the ice rather, and that is touched up, but no icing because that was a that was a really good rockets on the kid to avoid the icing. Backhand all the way. This one may go for icing though. Uh, claim that it's not icing, but I think they wish it was because the Shamrocks have possession. Shamrocks bring it into the zone. Shot barely well okay. Not really that dangerous of a shot either, though. Right out in front. He has a shot and a good save by the netminder. Scores! That went off the pad and in, but there's no light. Apparently, that's a goal. They're gonna review that, yeah. That kinda look that kinda looked uh that looked weird to me. As the goalie did have possession of the puck.
so again we are maybe getting a call here needs more cowbell after a review nice keeping us in suspense mario People want this goal. Beam, spamming GG. There's no goalie interference on the play. Good goal. So Cyan Cyan adds to his point total. Gets, I believe, it's his second goal of the game. And what a period is so far for both guys. Or for both teams. Right now, if the Comets, if the Comets want to keep into this game they're really going to need to buckle down they're really going to need to buckle down here so shots on goal right now is 10 to 6 in favor of the shamrocks and goal total here 2 nothing in favor of the shamrock as a shot just goes wide trying to center it out in front now real good pressure here for the uh for the Comets. That goes all the way down ice, and that will be icing. So, for the Shamrocks, second goal of the game, and this, I believe, is their second time that they've gone up 2-0 in a game, so hopefully they can hold this one, bring it home for a dub. Ref drops it in the Shamrock zone. Backhanded it. Comet's still with it. We'll try to pass it out in front. Overbound and overshot as the Comets bring it back in. Offside. I don't really... I really don't know what he was thinking there. That kind of obviously was offsides. We'll drop the puck, and now here come the Comets. A shot goes off the body. Comets still with it in the neutral zone. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. Comets trying to get it down in deep. Held away. Shamrock's still with it. And a shot won on net, but that is blocked out in front by Cyan. And another shot scores. Goes right under the glove, and that was a great shot that goes on the net. So that's a lethal goal right there as this it cuts the lead back to 2-1. to one. Oh man, they uh, sorry man, but you really don't have room to talk as, uh, they're still in the lead there, dude, so before you want to start talking smack, you may want to, you know, actually tie the game. <laughs> Just taking it from someone from experience who prematurely shit talked, it, it doesn't really end well. Shamrock's trying to play it down. They'll play it across. Comet's right out in front. Shamrock's trying to play it. They'll dump it down. I don't know what that's hitting on. On my screen, I can't really see where the puck is being... Uh, Voided to, but it it goes off as something as they'll finally clear the length of the ice with 341 left to go here in the third period. Two to one is your score. Shamrocks clinging on to a one goal lead. Shots on goal right now is 10 for the Shamrocks and seven for the Comets. It's 
Die Dust Mario ready for the draw. And I'm in a little bit of drama here. <clears throat> and a face off shot just goes off the body of the defenseman. I'll be off the glass trying to chip it out, held in by the shamrock. Comet's trying to clear it the rest of the way. Playing it on net. Again, they can't clear it. As the Shamrocks have it in the left circle. Shot on goal and a good save by the netminder. He has someone out in front. Defense can't clear it. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. At the side of the net. He has it. Right out in front. And looking for a shot. Nothing happening. Clear it out. As the... Comets have it. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. Shamrocks trying to play it. Comets still with it. Comets bring it in. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. Shamrocks trying to bring it into the offensive zone. It'll dump it in deep, heading right towards the goaltender. Cleared out of the zone. Shamrocks still with it. He'll dump it into the corner. Playing a little bit of dump and chase here. Right out in front, shot, nothing happening, poke checked away. Cyan, still battling for the puck. Goaltender set at the left side. Defense still poke checking hard. This is a really well defended game, if I do say so myself, as 146 remaining on the clock, and a wing around shot just goes off the side of the cage. Right out in front. Off the skate of the goaltender. Taken up by the Comets. Held in. Shamrocks. Right out to the side. So apparently it is just a glitch with the puck as they hold it in. What a great hold in by the Shamrocks. Trying to wimp it on net. He has it in the slot. Poke checked away by the Shamrocks. Poke checked away by the Comets now. Fighting for, for possession of the puck. And that will... Uh, that will be stuck, actually. Off the draw, we have the Comets trying to clear it out. Shamrocks poke checking it away, holding it in. Comets trying so hard to clear it, they finally do, but poke checked away by the Shamrocks trying to get it back into the zone. Shamrocks poke check it. Comets still with it. Poke check to the side. Cleared up to the Shamrocks defense. We'll try to give it up a little lazy pass, but gets easily intercepted by the Comets. Comets have it taken away by their stick. Shamrock still with it. Poke checked away, and that will be cleared into the zone. 27 seconds left, so this is going to be the final push, I would imagine, for the Comets. Dumping it in. And the Shamrocks will clear it back the other way. This will be... Not icing, though. Held in. Shot on goal. Scores!
still have action going on as this rivalry just got started. Wow. Wow, and another bench-clearing brawl. So we're finally going to try to drop the puck here. <laughs> Ref wasting no time as seconds tick off the clock. I'll get one last dump in with two seconds left to go. And here we go with the bench clearing brawl again. Bad blood is in the water. As all of the comments rage quit. And that is how she ends. The final score here tonight is 3-1 to one in favor of the Dublin Shamrocks. Shots on goal, 13-7 to seven in favor of the Shamrocks. After that very eventful post-game scrimmage, or scrum rather, the Shamrocks improve their record to 4-3. The Comets fall to 2-7, and seven. and after this entire game, and a truly exciting game of hockey for Banana CB, I am Brian Flores, aka Lyrical Tourette's, and we hope to see you in the next one.